Yo, Street Lights fam. By the grace of God, 2023 was a year of continued accelerated impact through Street Lights. But before we tell you more, we wanna take you to the heart of who we are. You see, Jesus Christ once spoke a revolutionary statement about himself in John 8. He said, I am the light of the world. To a group of people in his own diverse context and neighborhood, but all with the same need in their souls for Jesus. And this same good news today needs to be heard across the globe, in every neighborhood, and in every heart language. That's our conviction. And we've had another year of shining Christ to a wide landscape of global, urban, multi-ethnic listeners by the hundreds of thousands who are hungry for an invitation or a daily reminder of the life-giving hope that only exists through Jesus. This year, we pushed forward our mission to creatively communicate Christ Jesus through our four unique expressions. The English and Spanish audio Bibles, creative teaching resources, Christ-centered music, and community gatherings. We recognize this is our moment to shine Christ through the creative communication arts to both evangelize and help disciple His church. Listen, we celebrate this amazing work God has done in and through those of you who are partnering with us. So a big thank you from the whole team here. In 2023, we have completed 16 English and Spanish audio Bible books. That was a lot of work. We also produced 130 teaching videos connected to the Street Lights Print Bible. And intentionally ministered at 10 online and in-studio gospel-centered community events through Alert 312. In 2023 alone, 435,000 people across the globe have listened to God's word across 12 million streams on our app and digital streaming platforms. That's incredible. So we celebrate these numbers because behind each and every one of those 435,000 listeners is a face and a soul receiving the ministry of God's word. We want to share just one story from those who have been served, impacted, and empowered by the ministry of Streetlights. So please take a moment to hear a story from our good friend Manny from Chosen League NYC. I want you to introduce yourself to the world with a camera. They are part of the conversation. Oh, dope. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manny Maldonado from the Lower East Side and super passionate about three things, the city, young people, and Jesus. I lead a, a ministry called Chosen NYC Basketball, and if there was three words to best describe it, it would be faith plus basketball equals Chosen NYC. And we've been serving this community for the past 15 years. A cool tool with the street lights, we would like, um, with the Chosen League, before we would even play, we would just play a psalm or something. And it, you know, we started out that way and then it evolved into like, yo, what were some of your takeaways from what you heard? What I found was that people were receptive to it and it was different. We were able to just facilitate a regular conversation. And what we found was people were more open to be able to have those conversations. But well, we spoke with three of your guys, uh, Ethan, Daryl, and Jeremiah. And they had some interesting things to say. Yeah, my name is Ethan, I'm 16, I'm from the Lower East Side. I ain't gonna lie, I'm like a bored person. I mean, I, I got like bad attention span, so like, if you talking and it's just boring me, then I'm not gonna listen, but like, that she likes it, it's give you the opportunity because it has a beat. It's hip hop, and I like hip hop music, so it's, it makes it sound better. Like. So you got this teenage young man, right? 16 years old, that's listening to it, and he's like, man, it actually helps me to focus. You know, I could see it bringing us a level of peace and calm because it's spirit, it's life, it speaks to the mind and the heart, and it's the power of God's word, right? And, and at the same time, Ethan knowing or even unknowing, you know, the word of God is being like planted in his heart. There's some interesting things that Daryl said as well, especially in light of the culture. What do you think the impression of most 17 year olds is of the Bible in this day and age? Oh, it's too late to do this, go to church and look at the Bible. I feel like it can help people go that route. Like with street lights, it really gives a lot of people understanding on what the Bible is about and like different things about the Bible. And I like how every day it gives you this, it gives you this part of the Bible, and the next day it gives you that part of the Bible. It gives you more hope in what you're trying to believe in. Like if you believe in God and you're not reading the Bible, it gives you more evidence of what you're believing on. And in the time that I've talked to him, um, man, he's just been a real good, receptive young dude, you know, as it relates to God's words. 
in the Street Life Bible app. And it's, it's crazy how it's like you got a tool in your toolbox. I think it does speak the language to the culture here. Good music, beats, and God's word, I have a connection to it in, in more ways than one, you know? Like, I get to hear people that have a dialect that sounds like me, where I come from. And I think, obviously, man, if we don't have God's word in a language that we can understand, I think, man, that there would be a void there if that wasn't the case. And it would just be one less resource to be able to connect with the diamond and the rough kid, all, all demographics, all nationalities. And, and that's what God's word does. It connects us in a way that brings us together as one, you know? So check it out. Moving ahead into 2024, God has given us a vision to fulfill and we need your help to accomplish it. These are our goals. We desire to produce 19 English audio Bible books in order to finish the entire English audio Bible. Yo, this will be a watershed moment for Streetlights. Please join us and help complete and celebrate the completion of the original project of Streetlights Ministry. Next for the Spanish Audio Bible, we want to produce 10 books and finish and release the five books of the Pentateuch. And we are excited to continue to teach God's word through strategic and biblically based videos and podcasts, which only serve to engage and enhance new and current Streetlights users with his word. And Alert 312 is also set to evangelistically proclaim the beauty of the Lord this year and use music and community events to connect people to Christ. In order to accomplish these goals, we have a need to raise $225,000 by December 31st. So will you partner with us by giving generously toward our need of $225,000? You can be a part of bringing God's word to over half a million people across the globe. Fueling literally thousands of individual leaders like Manny and so many others and their ministries who use streetlights, resources in their own context and ultimately see lives transformed eternally as a result. So tap the link to give today and join us in this work as we reflect God's light to a dark world to the exclusive glory of His name through streetlights.